Today I bought this used rock tumbler off of Marketplace. I hope it works. I'll pull everything out of this tote and I'll show you what I've got. Well, I've gotten it out of the tote. It's pretty dirty and it's a little, little bit jacked up. A little bit of rust here and there. But uh, I'll plug it in see if it at least comes on. If it does, I'll clean it up and I'll start tumbling some stuff. I plugged it in and it is turning so that's a good sign <laughs> well, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit it did come with some uh, polishes and coarse grit and fine grit and, and another polish a couple of things of glue I guess it's for jewelry making or something I don't know I've, I've never seen these before um, that may be good. This one's soft back here, but it's hard up here, so I guess it's pretty much no good. Looks like some type of maybe jewelry accessories. Anyway, I'm going to clean it up and uh, start tumbling. What I'm going to tumble first, I had a person write to me and wanted me to use a casing tumbler and tumble some pennies and just see what would happen. And um, so... I don't have the uh, casing tumbler, but I've been wanting to get a rock tumbler for a while anyway. So I'm going to start with that. I'm going to put in a handful of um, older copper pennies and then some newer zinc pennies and see what happens to them. And uh, we'll, we'll see what the difference is when they come out. <laughs> Here's the coins pulled out ready for uh, putting in the tumbler. These are the zinc pennies. Um, there's the painted one that's in there. I got mostly just common. I just noticed that I'm missing a little video segment. Uh, I don't remember everything that was in that section, except I did say that I was taking 50 of the zinc pennies and 50 copper pennies, including two uh, Canadian copper pennies. And one of the zinc pennies was painted red. My wife had found it. While she was vacuuming, and so she gave it to me, so I stuck that in the bag amongst the 50. Anything else I said, I've just missed. I apologize. I hope it wasn't anything that is important to the video, but it was just gone. Used, you know, pennies. Uh, some of them are scuffed a little more than others. Here's the 50 copper, very common. I also thought I'd throw in, there's 48 U.S. and 2 Canadian I'm going to get these uh, weighed and just uh, mark on each bag how much they weigh before I get them started tumbling. And so, <laughs> I got up this morning to get my rock tumbler started. I got my 50 zinc, 50 zinc pennies in this bag and 50 copper in this bag. I've got them weighed. Uh, this weight includes the bag. I think each bag is about one gram. And after I have run this tumbler I guess I'll just do it about three hours for the first time and we'll get them out and dry off the pennies and see uh, we'll weigh them see if the weight is any different we'll see how clear they look we'll see how much difference there is between the copper and the zinc after I get them separated uh, since it's only going to fill just a little bit of the tub I thought I'd put a handful of rocks in there with it and a little bit of coarse grit maybe a tablespoon and we'll just see what three hours does uh, but the problem is, I woke up this morning to come in here to get it started, and I found that my belt, my petrified belt, had snapped overnight. So now I've got to run out and get me a new belt. I guess I'll go to a hardware store and see if I can find something close to equivalent to this thing. And then I'll come back and get this thing started. <laughs> All right, uh, hold on while I go to the store. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I didn't get another belt yet. But I did go out by another tumbler, so I'm ready to get started. Uh, let me get all set up, and I'll get these coins in here, and I'll finally get these things to tumbling. Let me see where we can get started here. Here's the zinc pennies. Here's the copper pennies. I 
I'm just gonna put some rocks in. Pretty cool looking rocks. This is my first time, so this is all an experiment. Hopefully I'll learn as I go. Okay. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this coarse grit in just for the fun of it. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll learn. Try to get about a teaspoon or so. I'm sure that you experienced gritters will, or uh, tumblers will say, you are insane. But, uh, oh, let me pause for water. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I'm going to put the water in just to about the top line of the rocks. And um, I'll get it turned on. In fact, I think I'm going to move locations. This is my office. I'm going to put it out in one of my sheds. We're going to run it for about three hours. That's a lot. I hope that's okay. It's more. It's at least three fourths full. So this could be crazy disaster. You got to try it the first time, you know. Come on. That on there. Put this guy on. Tighten it down. It's pretty tight. Okay, I am going to take this guy out to one of my sheds. I ha I know I'm two sheds, Cabby, but I have three sheds now. And we call them She Shed, He Shed, and Cat Shed. Because we've got an outdoor cat, and that's where we feed him. Along with our uh, garden tools. <laughs> I'm going to go up to the She Shed and set this guy up. And uh, I'll see you in just a minute. Okay, I'm out in the she shed, and uh, I'm your typical guy. I like to get it started first, and then go back and read the directions later. And so I'm going to turn this guy on. My hopes are to leave it on for three hours, and then come back and see what we've got. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Settings to... I'm putting it on three. I don't know if that means three hours or three days, but either way, I'll come back in three hours. That's fast. Well, hopefully I won't come back with a bunch of water all over the place. We'll see what happens. It's been a half an hour and there's no water spills and no fires. So I'm going to take my friends home and then that should be about done when I get back. Well, it's been just a few minutes over three hours. I'm going to turn it off if I know how. And uh, we'll get it out of here. All right, it worked. All right, I'll get this stuff out and we'll see what we've got. I am out in the shed and I'm just trying to, <laughs> I've got a lot of setting up things to do for future, but, uh, oh, let's see if we can get this guy off. <clears throat> Come on. Mm, it looks pretty yucky in there. There we go. I've got a bigger bucket here. Oh, those look pretty neat. I've got old creek rock around my house. And some of them are really cool, colorful looking things. So I'll end up uh, turning some of them, I'm sure. That's all of them. I see some of the red paint there. This old workbench has been around a long time. My wife's father used to repair old tube TVs from this old workbench years and years ago.
I'll show you the rocks later. We'll see if they've changed any. All right, let me take these in and get them dried up, and we'll take a look. Oh, they look like there's been worn quite a bit. That one does. Let me get these inside, and I'll dry them up, and we'll take a closer look at them. All right, so I'm getting the pennies dried off, and uh, <laughs> I a few days ago, I bought this Tumblr's Tumbler, and after cleaning it up, because it was really filthy, it started, it was working, and then I got up this morning to get everything started, and the belt, uh, kind of petrified, had snapped over overnight. So I just got on um, Facebook Marketplace, see what was out there, and there was a lady selling this little bitty fella for $10 that came with this brand new Rock Tumbler refill kit, which is kind of cool. And... Um, Man, yeah, let's try that. It'll be just something fun we can play with for a little while. And just before I left to go pick it up, she wrote and said, uh, I'm very sorry, but I plugged it in. The lights came on, but it didn't work. It didn't turn. She said, but um, I'm just going to get rid of this listing and then sell this Tumblr kit for $5. And I said, I'll take it. And uh, she said, well, you can go ahead and take this thing too if you want. And I'm like, sure. So I've played with it a little bit. Um, like I said, the lights work, but it wouldn't turn. There's a little bitty motor in the back. Uh, when my son comes down this weekend, I'm going to see if we can take this little motor off, bypass all the lights, hook the little motor up, see if we can get it turning. And then I can just plug it in and unplug it. And then I'll have this little thing to play with, but that didn't fix the problem for today. So I looked on the marketplace again. And I found this, uh, I could turn it sideways, the National Geographic Rock Tumbler. Brand new in the box, never been opened, they said. Uh, it looked to me like it had been opened, but I don't think it had ever been used. Doesn't matter. It worked great. I got it plugged in. Ran this thing for three hours. These pennies are definitely worn. Let me get them really good and dry, and I'll separate them out. And then we'll, uh, we'll weigh them and see what we've got. It's kind of cool. The, I, I see that the paint didn't come off on the edge, maybe, but a little bit of it came off, but not very much of it. I didn't really think it would. Let me get them dry, and then we'll weigh them, and then see what we got. Okay, I've got them all cleaned up and dried and the grit off of them. Um, this is the rocks that I used. <laughs> I don't know why I just did. But here they are. This is the zinc. And here's the copper. They're certainly a whole lot cleaner than they were. I put in a few that were really dirty. And they've come out pretty pitted. Look at that. That is really pitted. This one almost has a hole all the way through his face. Oh yeah, that was the 2009 one. It didn't come out the other side, and it don't, I don't think. No, I don't think it made it all the way through. Really pitted. There's another one that's nose is gone. Uh, didn't get much of the paint off of that one. A little bit more of the back came off. But they, you know, they have a, um, I don't know. Do you remember uh, <laughs> a metal cleaner called Tarnex? You could uh, just put a little bit on your rag and just wipe it on a tarnished piece of silver. And man, it just came out clean instantly. But I, it probably lost some popularity because it was taking off too much metal. Uh, it looks like they sat in there for a minute and then pulled them out. They're really clean, but they're, I don't know, gritty or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what you call that. Uh, one time when I was a young teenager, I put a bunch of pennies in a jar of Tarnex, expecting to come back to it in just a little while, and I forgot, and I came back about a month later, and there were little nubs left in the jar. That's all that was left. All 
all the uh, copper ones come out clean looking. There's, oh yeah, there's the Canadian. They look nice. I'll go back and pull up a screenshot of what they look like in the bags. But I wanted to make sure they were good and dry, make sure all the grit was off of them. Because now I'm going to put them back in the little bags and weigh them and see how much difference, if any, there is. I, I, as grainy as they look, I would think there'd be a little bit of difference. They're neat looking. You certainly wouldn't want to do this with a uh, an expensive coin. Let's weigh them. I guess cool about today. I've got more rocks and grit and different things, and a, a guidebook for me uh, to help me start learning. So I got some neat stuff uh, in the other refill box that I picked up. So that's kind of fun having this extra stuff uh, to get started on doing more projects. You know the way the uh, copper tones kind of differently over time than the zinc ones. Usually, as you're going through them. 99 times out of 10, you can tell them apart. Say, oh, that one's copper, that one's zinc. Sometimes you don't know. But you can, more often than not, than you know. But after this cleaning process, except for the really yucky ones that I put in, the, you can't hardly tell a difference. I guess all the toning has been removed. And so they come out, as, as long as they still have part of the copper coating on them, it's hard to tell the difference like you could normally. I think you, I think there's still a little bit of difference, um, but it's not as much. But here's the results on the weight. The copper started at 154.6 grams and ended at 154.5 grams. The zinc started at 126.4 grams and ended at 126.0 grams. So we definitely lost a little bit more uh, of the copper coating, whatever it is we lost. Um, a couple of them that were really dirty, I guess maybe you got more of that dirt off and maybe got into the, you know, they pitted more because it got down into the zinc could be part of the reason. Um, I think the three hour test is, you know, not super conclusive because of the difference in a few of them that were really dirty. They got some of that dirt off. So I think we need to do one that's going to be like three days, something like that. And then we'll really start seeing if there's going to be a difference because then it's going to get down, should get down below the zinc coating level of these guys. And then we'll start seeing what it does to them. I'm looking forward to seeing that. But this is what we have for the three hour test. And uh, come back with me later in the week, and I'll try to do, maybe the end of the week first and next week, we'll have like a three-day test. I'll try to get that started tomorrow if I can, so that three or four or five days from now, we can see what we've got. Thanks for watching a whole bunch. I hope you enjoy this. Um, for you guys who've been wanting me to get back out there, melting some copper and pouring some bars, I promise I'll get to that real soon. I had a big change in, I, I have another side business and I had all my stuff in storage units in a different location. I bought a new shed. Now I'm three sheds, I, but I'm not going to change my name. And I got everything out of those storage units and into my shed so that once that's paid off, I won't have to make monthly payments forever. And when I sell something, I just run out there and grab it way easier, way better. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> See you guys later.